let us start with the theorems on probability first theorem the probability of an impossible event is zero that is p of phi equal to zero phi is called the impossible event already we have seen in our first chapter is it not phi is the impossible event what is s called as s is nothing but the total sample space total outcomes and this is phi is nothing but impossible event then impossible means the event is not at all occurring so phi contains you can also say no sample points it will not contain any point at all am i right okay now let us start with the proof how to do how to show how to do p of phi equal to 0 so phi nothing but it contains no sample point at all and s is a sample space can we join these two yes of course so s union phi what is s union phi s is a total sample space phi is nothing so the total value will be equal to s s union phi is nothing but union is nothing but combining these two if i combine these two the final value will be s now taking probability we have taking probability we have p of s union phi p of s union phi is equal to p of s am i right but how can i write p of s union phi s and phi are mutually exclusive am i right s and phi are mutually exclusive so we can write it as p of s plus p of phi if two events are mutually exclusive we are defined in the definition p of a union b can be written as p of a plus p of b provided a and b are mutually exclusive events so instead of a and b we are having s and phi over here p of s plus p of phi which is equal to what is our right hand side p of s now what is the next criteria p of phi only we want so p of s can be taken to the other side so p of s minus p of s so these two will get cancelled giving you p of phi equal to zero hence the first theorem so what is the first theorem the probability of an impossible event phi is nothing but zero so p of phi equal to zero